Want to know what the sassy ladies of Sex and the City were up to in high school? Well, pick up Candace Bushnell's latest book, The Carrie Diaries, and to be launched soon, Summer and the City, to find out how the Fab Four came together. As for the idea of doing an origin story, here's how it happened. I moved to New York when I was 19. I was very young. And my agent and I were always talking about, um, you know, how I should write something about that time period. And you know, we talked about it, and then we just thought, who better to take on that journey than Carrie Bradshaw? Sent her back to high school, and that was the first Carrie Diaries. And the second one comes out at the end of April, and it's called Summer in the City. And Carrie Bradshaw, I mean, uh it's widely accepted that it is your alter ego to an extent. Well, is the younger Carrie Bradshaw also? I, you and know, I certainly, I really did draw on, you know, emotions and things that I felt at the time because I always wanted, knew I wanted to be a novelist from when I was eight. And I did move to New York at a, at a young age and, and you, know, you know, really sort of strove hmm. To, to try to make it in the big city. So is the younger Carrie also uh, a reflection of what you were like, your anxieties, your concerns in I, high I would school? Say, yeah, I would say so. Although I never had, uh, you know, I never had the really good looking boyfriend. Uh, this is also the novel when uh, Carrie develops that voice. She wants to be some kind of a journalist, which she vaguely puts right. it. But this is also the point when she's uh, uh, developing that voice. Yes, she's she's finding her voice as as a writer, and you know, of course, that's something that you know I've experienced myself. Carrie Bradshaw is like Benjamin Button, who's you know, instead of growing old, is growing younger. What do you have oh. to say to that? <laughs> that might be true. That might be true. Okay. I kind of like that. Okay. Yes. I also wanted to talk about the cover design. It's unmistakable. Carrie Bradshaw with that clutch bag, even the Indian edition. Right. So right. she had that sense of fashion, that idea of fashion even then. You want to say? Yes, I mean, I think that that was something that we were trying to convey, that she did have a sense of fashion, but she has no money. So in the summer in the city, she, she wears vintage clothes. She finds a designer who makes like plastic dresses. The first book is already out in the Indian markets. Uh, can you tell us, uh, readers who are awaiting the second book, uh, what to expect from it? It's Carrie's first summer in New York, and it's, you know, I think it's a little crazy, a little outrageous. She meets Samantha and Miranda, and, and I literally just finished it two days before I came to India. 